you know, Hariba manufactures Raman spectrometers, many other kinds of instruments. And there was a time in Raman spectroscopy when all Raman spectrometers were single channel based systems. You would scan a spectrometer in front of a single channel detector and you would measure a spectrum and you could do Raman research. But today, no one's doing Raman with uh, single channel detectors. Uh, that, that, it, th that technology has moved entirely to CCD and IGA uh, multi-channel detector platforms. So with Duetta, we're really taking fluorescence to the next step, which is really to uh, go all in with a, a, a very well done uh, CCD based platform that has all of the benefits that come with that. We can collect that entire emission spectrum in the blink of an eye. So uh, rather than waiting a few minutes for an entire spectrum, we get it much, much quicker. And of course, if you're doing excitation emission matrices, uh, we call them A-teams, uh, we can now collect that entire EAM fingerprint in less than a minute, whereas before it might have taken an hour. But the other great benefit of the CCD is that it is able to detect further out into the near infrared, uh, way beyond uh, the wavelengths that are available with a traditional photomultiplier tube. So it's the speed combined with the fact that it's doing absorbance and transmission that really make it quite unique. Now, in particular, uh, it's not just that it can do absorbance or it can do fluorescence, but we use the absorbance to correct the fluorescence that we get. Uh, and in one application in particular, where we look at excitation emission matrices, we're really taking full advantage of absorbance and tr transmission along with EAMS. Having this two-in-one capability allows us to correct for the interfilter effect, a well-known physical phenomenon. And that allows us to really um, get a, a very true molecular fingerprint. Um, what people are doing now, it's a very exciting area of research, is people are looking at excitation emission matrices of fluorescent compounds, but these EAM fingerprints um, they, they are not as robust as they need to be for complex chemometric analysis. But our two-in-one technique, correcting for this reabsorption, provides a true molecular fingerprint independent of concentration and therefore has been shown to really be a much more valid way of doing molecular fingerprinting. So we really believe very strongly that A-team is a, almost a technique in and of itself that goes way beyond what a traditional scanning fluorometer can do for uh, EEM. Uh, we introduced the product at PitCon in 2018, the Pittsburgh conference, and we won the gold award for innovation. Uh, subsequent to that, a uh, number of other awards have come along for innovation and design for Duetta. So uh, the feedback so far has been tremendous, not just from our customers, but also from our peers. In addition to the awards, what's really gratifying is the customer feedback. Um, the response has been tremendous in the year that we introduced it. We far exceeded our expectations just simply from a commercial point of view. But um, the feedback that we're getting from customers has really been tremendous. And it's very gratifying because it was a big team effort. It took a lot of work and uh, it's just great to know that all of that work has paid off. And you can see that in the design. When you use the instrument, it's all fully automated. The sample handling is uh, self-identifying. There's no connections for the user to make. They can easily switch from one type of sample to another. And the software interface for EasySpec software is highly intuitive in such a way that literally anybody can use this instrument. To give you the, an idea of the kind of feedback we're getting, uh, I introduced this instrument to a customer and uh, they took a look at it. Um, they had particular interests in fluorescence, but they were also thinking about absorbance. But after uh, taking a look at the instrument, the, the comment was, wow, I love it, I want to hug it. And this is the kind of thing no one has ever said about a fluorometer before that I'm aware of. So the instrument really has a, a great approachability, a simple way of allowing a customer to use it, and uh, well, frankly, they love it.